हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए स्पेशल लाइब्रेरी व्हिच अलाउज यू टू इंटीग्रेट मल्टी स्टेप प्रोग्रेस बार एनिमेशन समथिंग लाइक दिस सो वी हैव थ्री स्टेप्स आउट देयर यू हैव सीन दिस ऑन मेनी मॉडर्न वेबसाइट्स सच एज मल्टी स्टेप फॉर्म एनिमेशन काइंड्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरी इट्स अ प्रोग्रेस बार बेसिकली वी हैव थ्री स्टेप्स आउट देयर स्टेप 1 स्टेप 2 स्टेप 3 and in inside each step here we have some content out there you can even have some validation as well validation logic and we have this previous and next buttons if you go to the next step then it will show you this um, slight successful uh, notification that your first step is completed now you are on second step this is content 2 if you go to the third step then also this 50% is completed now step 300% and now if you click the submit button if you click the form submit you will see a alert statement that your form is submitted and this is basically multi step progress bar animation that you see inside many websites have out, out there we have multi step progress bar inside each step we have something you can replace here input fields any sort of logic validation logic that you want to replace so this is basically the library we have the previous step out there also you can see we have star uh, next and previous buttons if you go to the previous step you can go to it very easily and uh, this is basically the dynamic stuff here which is loading here in each step out there if you see so navigation is there so i have given all the source code guys in the description of the video so basically if you want the full source code you can go to the description of the video to copy paste all the source code this is basically the library which we are using let me show you and uh, if you go to npmjs.com and search for this package which is react step progress so this is the very first link which comes here it's a multi step and dynamic progress bar and it has got 2314 weekly downloads so now let me show you how to do this so the very first step you need to do you need to execute this command here which is npm i react step progress to install this package inside your react js project i have already done that so i will not do it once again so so how to import this package guides is very easy first of all i will make the functional component export default function app so this is our functional component guys and if you see hello world is printed out and now we need to use this library so at the very top we will import this library we will simply say import and here we will be importing this step progress bar we will be importing from this library which is react step progress so after this guys we also need to import its css file so react step progress inside dist we have index.css that's also this we need to import also and after this basically guys you can have uh, uh display basically the widget which is step progress bar so if you just refresh here nothing is shown here here we need to pass some options here first we need to pass here uh, the starting step so basically it has this option starting steps 0 and here we will simply say on submit so whenever you submit the form what should happen so we will be binding a method on form submit and then it takes basically a array which is steps so here you will have a object and this will be a array of objects so here we will have basically array of objects and in each object here we have a label property this will be for the step it can be anything but we will say step 1 it also to take step title as well so 10% anything you can give give it can give a name property as well which is step 1 and then comes the important pro property guys what what's the html content that you need to do so basically here you can 
make uh, a function step one content so we can declare this at the very top step one content and here we can simply say or simply we can write like this h1 step one content that's all so if you see here basically refresh it is saying on form submit is not defined so we can define this so now you can see that uh, we have this so previous next but submit button also click the submit button nothing happens if I add this alert statement here which is form submitted so this will automatically click you will see form submitted so in this way guys we can have uh, multiple steps here so we, we can simply copy this paste it two more times so now you will have three steps out there click you can see that so step one step two step three so here we just need to change the labels here step two step three and here you can change this percentage to 50 percent and 100 percent so now you can see that so just refresh it and here you can even have the content as well so i will simply say replace it to step 2 content and step 3 content and similarly we can have so here we can change it to step 2 just refresh it so this headings can be anything guys it can be paragraph it can be input element as well so where you can ask the user to provide any name username email address this can be any valid HTML element that you want and then basically you can also have validation as well guys so let's suppose you want to have validation so there is a validator property guys that you can add here so this is basically some kind of logic that you can write step one validator this is also a function a very simple function here step one validator so here you can ask the user to enter something here so let's suppose this returns a boolean value either true or false if you return true here then this uh, form will if you click the next button then it will you can see that step one it gives you you can't so it's a validation out there you can also put this step one validator so it returns a boolean value so just refresh it so now you can see so it returns a boolean value so if you return false here so then in that case you can't go to the next step you will have this validation out there validation animation out there you can have some kind of logic here let's suppose if uh, 5 is smaller than 10 in that case return true so in this case 5 is smaller than 10 so in that case our validation will not go so if I replace here 5 to 2 so in this case 5 is not less than 2 in that case the validation will go so you can have any condition out there you will see that this is basically this library guys it's a very handy library if you want to integrate multi-step progress forms and animations with validation thank you very much for watching this video